guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got another quick fix for you. We're gonna be putting the side mirror on the wife's Milan. Now, unfortunately, somebody got in a little tussle with the garbage bin, if you know what I mean. And uh, busted the side mirror. So I went ahead and picked up a replacement, one of these cool view ones. I uh, just got this on eBay. I'll show the part number here, stuff like that. Uh, this is good for Mercury Milans, Ford Fusions, and uh, I've used this brand in the past, always had good luck with them, seems to be pretty good quality, and definitely better than paying for like an OE one. There we go, not much to it. There is a little bit of prep work to these to get them ready to go on, but nothing too terrible. You can see here, the outside of it is blank, and there's a reason for that. So... Really easy prep there. Just pull that little tab off, and I need to go pop this cover off the other mirror. So let's get that done first before we start tearing into the door. All right, realistically, this thing should just snap on here, and I'm not 100% sure how it comes off, but we're going to find out together. Oh, there we go. There's a couple little tabs back here. It looks like you just push. Maybe. Ugh, I broke that one. Okay. Might be a little cold out for this job. Oh. There we go. Well, don't do like I did. There's a couple tabs there and there. I just broke that one. Hopefully this one is good enough to hold this thing in place. Worst case, we'll put a little dab of glue on there. Don't tell her our secret. All right, again, you can kind of see those slots I was talking about where those tabs go, just like on the other mirror. Now, like I said, I may or may not have damaged those. We're gonna see if this will stay in place. So these little ones look like they lock in first. So you kind of tip this in and then slide that into place. So I'm gonna get that kind of lined up. Feel those ones, yep. There they just kind of snapped in. And then hopefully this top one will just pop in there like that. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I'll necessarily glue it yet, but if we have any problem with it, you know, rattling or doing anything like that, I may go back and you know, put some double-sided tape or some glue, something in here to really hold this on. But otherwise, that one tab and these little three lock tabs down here seem to be doing okay. So, we can run this thing back out to the car, and, uh, you know, hopefully this isn't too much of a chore. We'll get it back on the road and uh, working like it should. Tools for this project are actually pretty simple. Uh, you just need something to work as a little trim remover. I like using these little pocket screwdrivers. They're long, they can get into tight places, and they usually have a nice uh, small head on them to get in there. Other than that, a couple basic sockets. You need a 7mm, an 8mm, and an 11mm, and whatever you choose to drive them. Either you know a ratchet, a nut driver, anything like that will work. None of these are on there overly tight, so you don't have to worry too much about it. The only other thing you need is a T20 Torx bit on your driver of choice. I like using the drill just because it makes it go a lot faster. Let's jump out there and start tearing this thing apart. All right, first step is just to get access to everything. Down in the kind of hand pole here, there's a little cover you want to yank out, and there's a little screw down in there. Also, there's a little tab that you pop open to get to those screws there. The one down in here should be the, it is the seven millimeter. There's that one out. And then pretty much everything else on the door is gonna be those T20s. So you have one in here and you have, you can see the one over here. There's a few around the bottom that hold this door panel on. And then pretty much the whole door panel should just pop right off. Wow, aren't 
you cool. The one I did forget about is back in here, and I believe that's actually an 8 millimeter. So add that to your list of tools to bring with you to do this job. So I'm going to run in the shop quick, get an 8 millimeter. I've already pulled. There's one screw down here and one screw over here on the side, and then obviously the one down in here. So I'm going to run in the shop, grab an 8 millimeter, pop that out, and then we should be ready to pull this whole door panel off. Now ideally you want to do this on a warmer day. Plastics and stuff like that on car interiors do not like being pulled apart when it's cold. Very high risk of breaking things. But basically just want to grab it wherever you can and pop these clips. There we go. Just like that. And I only broke about half of them, so good for me. Okay, maybe I didn't need to pull that out. All right, so the next thing you need to get out of the way is this little cover here. And this guy just snaps on there, no big deal. You don't need to unhook the wiring or anything to this. You can just let it kind of dangle. And now we've got to the guts of the mirror here. Just undo our electrical connector. Just like that. Pop all these loose. And now's the time that if you care about what's left of that mirror, you want to make sure you got either somebody holding it on the other side or, uh, you know, hold the hand over here to make sure it's not going to fall. I don't particularly care because it's already busted to bits. Maybe it'll hold itself. This one I might get lucky. There we go. Reach around here, grab this thing. And yank what's left of it off. I just need a little persuasion. It does. There we go. Well, now that we got the old mirror off, now's a good time to take and get a rag or something, wipe off. You can see all this dirt and just grime in here. Get that all cleaned up. Just good practice. So I'm going to go grab a rag, get that all cleaned up, and we're ready to start putting this new mirror on. Installing the new mirror is just the opposite of taking the old one out. Just want to line everything up, slide this guy through. Oop. And what was actually holding that in, there's a little clip right here. So I guess you don't need a helper or anything like that. But you can see my old clip here is still stuck in the door. So I got to get that out of there. Other than that, line everything up. Hold my bolt holes in place. A couple nuts started so I don't have to worry about it falling off and breaking this one too. If I have a tip when installing these things, it's that it is plastic. Your nuts and your studs on here are metal, but those studs are just fed into a plastic shell. So you don't want to go crazy tightening these things. You'll see it start divoting here, and you can even possibly crack this plastic. So you really want to kind of take it easy. Don't over tighten them. Don't overdo it. Just get it good and tight to where you got this seal sitting flush all the way around. Good to go. So I'm going to start putting this thing back together and then we'll give it a test. Make sure everything works like it should. cover back in. Yeah. Perfect. That's all there is to it. 
Let's try this thing out. There we go, simple as that. Hope that helps you out. And we can take and put this right in the garbage can that started all this. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next time. Throw this thing away now.